Merry Easter. Now it was three or four weeks ago. Yeah. But still, we didn't do a podcast then, so get in there. We're back. Merry Christmas. Maybe Christmas. Well, just in case we miss it. No, or... as in, like, just in case. Because, like, you can listen to podcasts at any time. Like, I could listen to this at Christmas, so have a Christmas. <laughs> you just burped and you're trying to find away the smell. <laughs> I'm just afraid that it'll be really stinky. Um, but yeah, welcome. We need to get better at this whole, I can smell your burp. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to get better at you smelling my burp. Yeah, we? no, we need to get better at this whole, um, getting on schedule. Yeah, we sort of lost it for a while, didn't we? It's, yeah. Sundays were actually quite busy. Sundays are normally chill, but... Yeah. Been, been busy. 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 But, um, yeah, welcome to podcast. We're going to catch you up on our... In the last like five weeks of our lives yep. and then we're gonna have some fun yeah so, so the last time we recorded one was the 14th of april which was just before easter yeah uh the we couldn't do one the sunday after that really because we were in donegal because we had done a triathlon which was fun it was it was a nice wee triathlon i'll be honest like shout out to 24 7 triathlon club in letter county yeah they were lovely good folks they really were um, um I don't know why we didn't do one last Sunday. I think we just forgot. No, we were in Donegal last Sunday yeah. as well. Yeah. So, and I mean, I suppose we could have done one in Donegal, but it wouldn't have got uploaded until we got home and... We were pretty tired. I don't know. No, I was just not feeling well last Sunday. Oh, yeah, you were You were not okay. You look Chinese, not to sound racist. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that, though. Like, because you're, you're, you're... No, but, like, you're going to sound racist. You can't say, not to sound racist. <laughs> like no, no no but I mean it was just the way you had your eyes closed like I'm not it looks like you look like bear girls whenever you got stung by those bees oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> I look like an adventurer <laughs> but yeah no um yeah back on the wagon yeah um for so, this week anyway yeah so hopefully this will be the start of getting back on track because we didn't put up a video this week either yeah uh, but that was because we were rushing away to Belfast and yeah, we're going to South Africa. Not sure if we've noticed if we like told you that, but like we should still be able to do a podcast when we're there because we found out that we're staying in a hotel with Wi Fi. That'll be cool. We could do a wee podcast halfway through. Yeah. Um, even just a quick one. I was gonna say we could just do a wee sort of like daily catch up and then like we could mash it together as like an a South Africa podcast. If you know how to do that then yeah. Yeah, I can probably do it. Cool. When I get home. On Movie Maker, because Movie Maker's the best. Okay, other editing software programs are available. But they're not as good as Movie Maker. <laughs> <laughs> I just like Movie Maker because it's simple. Like, for what I use, like, what video editing stuff is Movie Maker or iMovie. Yeah, just Others, like you only need the basic stuff rather yeah. than... Like, I don't, I don't... Fancy. Like, yeah, okay, it'd be cool to make it fancy, but at the same time, you don't need it. I remember in school whenever everyone was obsessed with using Photoshop... Yeah. Never even tried to use it. It was just like, nah, computers, nah. <laughs> we um, don't mix. <laughs> yeah. I just, I can, I'm like an old person on the computer. I can do internet and like basic office. But it's like, at that, it's like, I don't even, like, I know that computers are like a big thing now, but at the same time, it's kind of like, everyone's like, oh, I'm in the office nine to five. And it's like, my eyes literally wouldn't allow me to do that. Yeah. It would be painful yeah. i think i would probably have to if i did a week of nine to five in an office i would have to take a week off to yeah. recover <laughs> like or else i'd just have no social life i'd go to work and then i'd come home and just lie in a dark room for the rest of the night yeah. like like because i was thinking about it and that's basically what we did at school because we were doing that much work yeah like school and then at uni we would have got up at like what well school we would have been up at seven uni we would have run up like nine yeah. and we would have worked until like five or so then at school we would have worked like nine till half three and yeah. then done homework or whatever and we would just we would have been in bed by nine yeah just because tired it was tired and eyes um but i remember you know looking at computers and stuff doing coursework and all and i just my eyes just started streaming like i was just there i was mine, just crying mine didn't stream i just got really bad like eye strain and it literally felt like someone was poking like not even needles, like a massive nail through my eye. Lovely. I just got, it was either my eyes started streaming or like, you know whenever you're wearing a jumper and you take it off and it's all static and you oh, can feel yeah. that around your eyes and your nose. Yeah, that. I just got that and it was really, it was just uncomfortable more than anything I suppose, but 
I don't know. I'll probably end up having to suck it up and just take an office job. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, apart from a triathlon, the, the Saturday after... Well, no, we got our green belts in karate. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we mentioned that in the last podcast. <gasps> that we would be a green I belt. We were hoping bad. for blue. I, I did badly. Um, I kept kicking too high whenever they asked for chudan, which is like stomach height. I was kicking like pretty much shoulder height. I just got excited and like... Nervous. I, yeah, and I was just like, oh flip, I have to make this good. And then like as I was doing the kick, I was like, that was too high. That was too high. And then they were like saying, uh, yeah, chudan kick. And I was like, I know you're talking to me. I know. I can't make it go lower. Someone help me. <laughs> It's funny because they usually have trouble making people get their kicks higher. <laughs> I was just like, because I had practiced beforehand my head kick and I was like, no, 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 but what what if I can't do it whenever it comes to it? And then I think I was just focusing on that and I was yeah. sort of going, what if I can't reach the head kick? And then I was just trying to, yeah. But yeah, we did it. We got our green belts. Well, we haven't actually got our green belts yeah. yet. <laughs> it's not official yet. We yeah. haven't got a picture for Instagram yet. Yeah, um, but we, we also did a coffee morning. We organised it and, and did that, thanks to our mummy and our auntie for helping us with that. And our cousin. And our cousin. Um, and thank you to all the people who brought bakes buns, yeah. and buns. I actually quite like bacon now. It's... Yeah, I missed it. Although I also really can't be bothered with the washing up afterwards, but, yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, if you limit, you can limit your washing up. Like, I reckon if we made cookies, we could just use, like, one bowl. Yeah. One bowl and then, like, the measuring dish. Dish? To go oh, right, yeah, the yeah, 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 the scales. <laughs> just, just say the scales. But yeah, coffee morning was fun. We did socialising and, um, yeah, we talked to people. It wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I was quite good at holding and carrying a big massive teapot full no, of tea. No, I'm not even joking. I think the highlight of my day was someone, like, someone, like, a man and his wife. A man and his wife? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> they came in and one of them wanted tea and one of them wanted coffee. And everybody else was busy, so I grabbed the teapot and the coffee pot and I poured them both at the same time. Into I'll be honest. Cups, yeah. yeah. Into... But, uh, like, it was stressful. But whenever I did it, I was like... I have achieved something today. <laughs> I've achieved greatness. I walked back into that kitchen with that teapot and that coffee pot and I just was proud of myself. I mean, there was a point that I was washing tea teacups and saucers and plates flat out and drying them. And I think I made of, I set a new world record for washing five cups, five saucers, five plates and two spoons and three knives and drying them and setting them back out on the table with a wee napkin in between them. I think new world record for that. I was gonna say I didn't burn myself once, but I did at the start because Mum was like, "Oh, there's the teapot there." <gasps> that reminds and then, me. I need you to look at this blister I have on my toe. <laughs> okay, all right, hold up. Can we do it after? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know. Unless you want me to describe the no, blister. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't burn myself, but I did. Um, because Mum at the start was like, "Oh, there's the teapot on the cooker," and me thinking, "Oh, it's just a wee church cooker. I don't think that cooker works anymore." Does work. The cooker works. How just were you gonna make tea if the cooker didn't work. I don't know. I just thought we'd maybe just put it in a teapot with boiling water and then just hope for the best. You know, it was embarrassing. It was our church that we go to every week and you know help serve stuff and you know, um, and uh, our cousin was able to fill up the pot for the coffee um and i wasn't because i was like i don't know how to open it she was like you just well don't know to be fair that wasn't our that wasn't our um pot oh was it not no well no, it no, wasn't no, the church no, the big ours. the big one the big silver ones oh, that right, you just press the button flask then. yeah oh right no i know how to work that i didn't know how to work that and then i was like she was like you fill that up flat out and she was like you just flip it up and then go over this hot tap thing and then just fill it up and i was like all right okay i've gone here for the past 23 years <laughs> I mean, we haven't had them for 23 years. They're, what, like, maybe five years old now, but yeah. whatever. I was a bit embarrassed, but I was also like, yeah, good on you. You're doing some good things. Thank you Pro for tip. your help. Pro tip, if you're doing a coffee morning, if you're going to sell bakes, just get cake boxes and then set the, like, assorted stuff out and let people pick what buns they want to put in their box and give them, like, ten for three pound. And you can get the cake boxes from bakeries just go in and ask for some. And yeah. they usually give them to you for free. Because that's how we got rid of about maybe £200 worth of stuff. A lot but of like, buns and cakes and stuff. Yeah, like it, it it does make more sense rather than sort of giving them an assortment of like six stuff wrapped in like. King, fil yeah. King film. King film. 
Although to be fair, like it could have worked better. It's sort of a hit and miss thing because people could have been like, oh, but I like the ones in that tray. Oh, but I like the ones in that tray too, so I'll buy both. Yeah. But, but then it could have been, oh, but I don't really like, I only like two out of the six and that. And I if like it was me, I wouldn't have done it because I'm stingy and I would have been yeah. like, oh no, I only like that mint one and that other one there, so yeah. I'm not going to do it. Going back to the triathlon, Um, well, we got to keep the tandem bikes that we used. Um, Big shout out to uh, Northwest Tandem Club. Um... And uh, John, who got his tandem sorted for the Sunday because it was Easter weekend. That was so stressful. Well, it was the week after Easter, but everywhere was closed. We couldn't get tandem bikes, and we were told, "Yeah, it's really easy to get tandem bikes in Derry sodas. You just have to phone up and just ask for them, and they should just give it to you straight away at the gyms." You don't. It it's was more not. complicated than that. It is not nice. But we got sorted. So thank you, John. That was amazing. We still have the bikes. We still have the bikes. He allowed us to keep them for an extra couple of weeks. So um. Yeah. Look that's, out. Country roads. Um, tandem bikes are difficult. Oh, they're scary. Fair play, anyone who's been on the front of a bike with me. Chloe took me out on the tandem and she was driving. And at the start, it was kind of terrifying because I was like, what if a car comes? And then I was like, you know what? She got this. She go and get smashed first. Like, it's just... Like, I suppose, yeah, it's just getting used to it at the start, just sort of being like, okay, right, there's a person on the back of this. This bike is twice the length of any other bike. Yeah. <laughs> And um, yeah, but it's no, it's not as terrifying as no, it's terrifying at the start, and it's still kind of terrifying. But <laughs> I mean, you get used to it. And this is—is is this the sales pitch you're going to use to get a guide? Yeah, yeah. It's hard at the start, but if a blind person can do it, you can do it too. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a good. It's quite a good selling point. I've now been on both ends of a bike, which means I now I can sympathise with other people better. Yeah. What else has happened in life? Um, I really wanted Cheerios this week and I didn't get Cheerios. Uh, but then Chloe found Cheerios. And <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the dullest story that's ever. That's <laughs> the end of my Cheerios stories. But I didn't realise there were so many different varieties. varieties of Cheerios. I knew there was like Honey Nut Normal and then like um, Frosted Cheerios. I knew they were a thing. But apparently you can get like peanut butter Cheerios and stuff too. Yeah. So you, knew you, could, you knew you could get chocolate Cheerios. I yeah, that's what I said. said. Okay, I didn't know if you said that. Um, but like, chocolate Cheerios is in like, not Wheatos. Like, actual Cheerio yeah. brand Cheerios. But um, I also found on Time Hop this day, f- five years ago, I found Snoco Pops in Tesco. <gasps> White chocolate White Cocoa Pops? White chocolate Cocoa Pops. And I haven't seen them since. And I'm very disappointed. I hope that they get brought back. You should Google, Google them now quickly and see if they still exist. Okay. Um, What I was going to say was... um. Me and Judith were separated on Friday night till Saturday because um, I had to go up to Belfast for a thing, a meeting, discussion, panel thing, which was quite interesting. Um, there was a lot of city folk there. Um, yeah, a lot of Belfast ones and just townies. Um, <laughs> we were, there was like 60 of us and then we were split into like five or six tables. So there was like eight of us or something at our table. Um, and they were all from the city and... Judith messaged me halfway through yesterday and said, one of the lambs is dead. And me not thinking where I was, I went, oh, crap. And then everyone was like, oh, what happened? And I was like, oh, just one of the lambs died. It's just, ugh. And yeah, then everyone was like, oh, poor lambs. And did the tiny thing of just completely over-exaggerating things. And I was just kind of like, no, I mean, I'm not sad about it. It's just, like, annoying. Yeah. Um, I was also really annoyed yesterday because it was such a good day. Well, it was windy, but it was, like, really sunny, and I was stuck inside, and just, like, it was interesting, but also, it would have been nice to be outside. Yeah. Like, Judith got to go for a run. Think of how much vitamin D she got. Oh, jealous. No, but, but also, I had a caffeinated beverage yesterday. It's fat old, right? I'm sorry, I was just, I was excited about my caffeinated bev- beverage. It was one of them monster drinks. I'm not used to caffeine, and, oh. That woke me up. Um, I only drank like half the can. And yeah, caffeine's great. Running outside is pretty decent. I thought it was going to be terrible because it's all hills. Um, they don't do snowco. Uh, they're called snowco snaps. As in like, have they been discontinued? Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, running outside is pretty good. Uh, I thought it was going to be awful because it's all hills, but um, it wasn't too bad. I only ran for like 10 minutes though because, uh, well... I just only ran for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I would have gone further, but I was afraid that the road was going to get busy, and then I didn't want to leave the house empty. 
for pure ages because I don't know I'm really paranoid about that now and yeah I just I only ran for 10 minutes but it was fine it was a good run 10 out of 10 would do it again you know what they should do Cocoa Pops right <laughs> but with <laughs> hear me out like a mixture of Cocoa Pops like choco Cocoa Pops or like triple chocolate Cocoa Pops or something and they have like the milk chocolate, like the standard Cocoa Pops and then they have like white chocolate Cocoa Pops and then like dark chocolate po Cocoa Pops but like all mixed or they could do three separate things Kellogg's get on this yeah just Kellogg's also bring you should Kellogg's should get on that white chocolate Cocoa Pops they should also yeah. bring back ricicles no why they are too sugary they're not allowed them anymore you they're gonna get rid of Frosties soon too they're, do they're already but doing, that means like, they have to get rid of like crunchy nut cornflakes because they're pretty sweet true but crunchy nut cornflakes are basically a, a grown-up cereal mm. which is fine what about honey lips oh, they already got rid of honey lips haven't they no i don't think so oh <laughs> that's good oh wait no yeah the kellogg's ones yeah are they not called with honey hoops now the bumblebee oh maybe they are yeah is there another one with the bee that goes honey puffs? Yum yum yum. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, and then they had honey balls or something too. Is that another honey puff things? And then they they had Oh we know that was honey puffs, yeah. I don't know. That's need to go and we talk about cereal. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go look up a cereal line. <laughs> I think my favourite cereal though was Cocoa Pops. But not Cocoa Pops. Tesco rice snaps. No, Cocoa Snaps. Cocoa Pops? What Choco are they snaps? called? Choco Snaps. That's it. Tesco Choco Snaps. Or, quite, or the Lidl brand ones. I'm quite partial to some just plain old Rice Krispies. They're all right, but you need a wee dusting of, of mm, sugar on some, them. Some, yeah. But I could just eat Cocoa Pops all day, forever. I quite like Cheerios. Cheerios, Cheerios are solid. If you had to pick, this, this is a question from Susan, just while we're on the topic of Cheerios, but what, what would your, like, what flavour of Cheerios would you make up if you could make up a flavour of Cheerios? So they have... Normal chocolate, frosted, and peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Those are all pretty solid. Oh, flavors. and honey nut, honey Cheerios. Honey nut Cheerios. Don't say that. I can't remember if you did or not. Okay. Oh. Um, I, I, knew, I knew that honey nut Cheerios not, existed anyway. But um, I don't know because those are all solid flavors. I would do the thing. Remember a few years ago, like whenever there was like all the different million brands of Cocoa Pops, and they made like um, it was like we like. I don't know, like square boxes of the different types. So there's like Cocoa, Cocoa Pops, Cocoa Rocks, like Moons and Stars, whatever it was called. And then like the Cocoa Pops Crunchums things. What are the Crunchums things? They were like six Cocoa Pops moulded together. Oh, uh, yeah. But they were all in like a three, four pack thing. Uh, and then you could like mix and match it. They had like flip top lids. I don't remember that, but that's unreal. I would do that with Cheerios. But I know that I didn't like anything other than normal Cocoa Pops because I didn't think any of the other ones tasted like actual Cocoa Pops. I like the Cocoa Pops Cocoa Rocks, but like, I only like to separate soft, them. <laughs> I only like the soft chocolate ones, the one with the... It always took me ages to eat them because I had to eat like the soft ones first and then the hard ones. I always saved the soft ones for the end. I tried to save the soft ones for the end, but then if you had the, like, the hard ones first, it's just too crunchy. That's true. That's true. The soft ones were basically... Um, like crave. We're getting distracted here. What kind of? I was cereal? just describing the the cereal. Um. Oh, cinnamon. I think that exists. Is it? Oh, you have a phone there. I'm using my phone to record. You can you can search it. I know, but then you'll get annoyed at me for being distracted and not. I know, but um, answering. Give questions. it to me, and I'll type and talk. Okay. Um, cinnamon would be good because I like curiously cinnamon, but I don't like it in, um. Like, in milk, I just like it dry. Um, I'm very picky about what I put in my milk. Yep, or what I... cinnamon oat Cheerios. So what, So oat Cheerios are a thing too? Yeah, cinnamon oat What crisp. about, like, bran flake Cheerios? <laughs> Cheerios with added bran. Or you can also get apple cinnamon Cheerios. Not sure I'm a fan of that. Um, I'm just going to search Cheerios flavours. What about, I think... <laughs> I think the way they used to do Cheerios when they had like the ones, um, it was like five different Cheerios on the front, but they were all different colours and it was like oats, sweet, barley, you know that one, and each colour was like a different one. Alright, yeah. I miss those Cheerios. I want them back like that. So I don't, 
my answer, Susan, is that I don't want to invent a new flavour. I want to bring back the old Cheerios. Thank you very much for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, oh, there's dark chocolate crunch. I want, is that, wait, like Cheerios? Like dark yeah. chocolate? It's oh. like normal Cheerios with dark chocolate. Oh. Cheerios. Um, these are American brands, by the way. We need to go to America um, and try the Cheerios. I think that's fruity ones. Fr fr like normal ones yeah. plus fruity Cheerios. Um, or probably just oh, with no, the fruit, fruit, fruit flex like, thing. Yeah, just with fruit flex. And then there's actual fruity Cheerios, which I'm assuming is like... Fruit Loops. Yeah. Uh, Cheerios plus ancient greens. Yeah, that. What's that look like? It just looks like Cheerios, but I think it has like wee brown flecky bits. Yeah. Um, or like, no, they're sort of brown flecky Cheerios. It's like bran but mixed with Cheerios. Bran Cheerios. Yeah. That's what I said. I was going to invent those. Um, apple cinnamon, honey nut, frosted, um, multi-green Cheerios. I thought yeah. they were already a thing. I thought multi-green Cheerios they were, were the normal thing, ones. Too. Yeah. Maybe not in America. Chloe, what kind of cereal would you invent then? Or what flavour of Cheerios would you invent now that you've looked at all the different flavours that already exist? I said I would make up like a mixture, like a variety oh, box. Oh yeah, right. Okay. So what? Well, you could only have say you could only have four. What would be your four varieties? Right. Normal Cheerios, chocolate Cheerios, honey nut Cheerios. There's another one that there's like fifteen flavors in that page. Wow. Um, but normal chocolate, honey nut, and peanut butter. Normal chocolate, honey nut, and peanut butter. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Uh, the next thing on my list is Avengers Endgame. <gasps> no spoilers. No spoilers. But. The first hour, eh. Go pee in the first hour if you haven't watched it. Yeah. Um, and then just stay for the second two hours. I mean, like, you should watch the first hour because it sort of builds up the story. But, like, don't worry if you have to run to the toilet. Like, someone can really quickly... Catch you up. Catch you up. Yeah. Um, but it was it was good. Good movie. Can I say... Um, yeah. I love you 3000. That bit got me. Yeah. Um, the next thing I have in mind is tights. Tights, okay. And this happened this morning whenever I was putting on tights. Um, and just, I realised that I can't look at people in the face <laughs> whenever they're wearing tights. Because I'm so undignified whenever I put on tights. Like, I swear at school I used to be, like, sort of half dignified. I don't think I was ever good at putting on tights. <laughs> but, like, I just can't look at people. Because now I just look at people and I'm just like... I'm just watching you put on tights and do the whole, like, the first leg goes in and it's fairly smooth and then the second leg goes in and then you have to try and get it up, like, your top half. And, yeah, that's just not dignified. <laughs> and I just look at people, like, we were at church today and I just looked at people in church just going, I can't imagine you putting on tights. <laughs> and then what made it worse, I was like, imagine a man putting on tights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tights aren't dignified? Is that what you're saying, yeah. basically? Just... Yeah. Don't do tights, guys. <laughs> but you think oh, girls. tights is quite a... Uh, uh... The queen putting on tights. <laughs> do you think they're really tights, though? They could just be them stocking things. It could just be, because she always wears long... Longish skirts. Long skirts, doesn't she? Yeah. I think the stocking things would, like, the long... Yeah, they would be far handier than tights. Yeah. Tights are awful. You don't have to worry about them falling down, like, just having a really low crotch. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. Oh. Then you have to try and hike it up, and then... <laughs> if you're wearing a skirt, you have to... <laughs> you have to hike up the skirt, too, and it's just... It's undignified. <laughs> Sorry, lads. First world problems. <laughs> the next thing on my list is tiles. It's number of times I've ripped tights, too. Just putting them on, either my toe goes through it, or else I'm trying to pull it up, my thumb goes through it. It's just like, oh, I have to go get you another use your pair of tights. to pull up tights? No, I just like, <laughs> I use my hand, but it's just this morning my thumb went through the top. But like, I use like the pad of my thumb. Yeah, like, the side I of use my... the pad of my thumb. Like, I don't just use my thumbnail, that would just be silly. Like, I get like a full grip on it, like you would, <laughs> I don't know, grab a, grab a towel. Off a thing. Speaking of tiles, tiles have two sides, right? And there's a soft side and then a rough side, right? Yeah. Wh why? Like, just do we know why? One side is just really petted. One's just for being... One's for your delicate areas. <laughs> no, there's just for everything else. <laughs> um, 
I thought it was maybe because one was to dry you and then you flip it over and then you just wrap it around you and it just keeps you warm. Is that not? No. Would that not work? Mm -hmm. Um. Good day. <laughs> which side do you think dries you better than the soft side or the rough side? I think the rough side dries you better though. Despite everything. Yeah. But um, that was just something that I was wondering about. If anyone knows why tiles have two sides, uh, please do get in touch. Um, yeah. Skit.twins at gmail.com or at skit underscore twins on Twitter. And Instagram. And Instagram. Or if you prefer my method of spelling it, it's skit under slash twins. Yep. Um, the next thing is mint and dark chocolate versus mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I need is... to have mint chocolate chip ice cream before I can have this debate. Okay. Because it's been I've, years. Yeah, in fairness, it has been years. Like, but I literally I... had an after eight, like, half an hour ago. It is after eight, guys, by the way. It's, like, after eight a.m. <laughs> Don't at me. <laughs> well, it depends when people are listening to this, but it's always after eight, so it doesn't matter. It's, like, um, it's 5 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's like eating after eight. It's after eight somewhere. <laughs> um, but, yeah, because I... My memories of chocolate, mint chocolate chip ice cream are bad ones. <laughs> Why? Like, broken up? No, just... it To me, I think of mint chocolate chip ice cream and it's grainy and the chocolate chips are minuscule. Yeah. They're titchy. And it's just like eating cold toothpaste. Here, lads. With bits in. See if you've had um, the Halo Top mint chip. Go and let me know oh, what yeah. it's like. I just, I'd have ten. No, I'd have nine. No, I'd have ten. Yeah, I'd have, no, I'd have nine because then you can't just slap it in the middle. Yeah, you have to think about it. Yeah, no half numbers or like point numbers or like fraction numbers. Yeah, whole numbers, um, please. And I need I need a comparison to the salted caramel one because it's my current favorite. It's great. We've we've currently tried what vanilla, salted caramel, and peanut, peanut butter. butter. We've been told that we have to try birthday cake. I don't know. See, I'm not a fan of birthday cake things in general. Well, I don't get it. What makes it birthday cake? Is it sprinkles on it? I'm not a huge fan of sprinkles. Yeah. I'll try it because I've been told to. Told to. <laughs> and, because, pressure. and because, like, may as well. Um, I want to try the oat cookie one. Yeah. Happy birthday to the wee new royal baby. What do they call him? Alfie. Alfie. Alfie's a cute name. Yes, lad. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Alfie. Do you really think? We're going to call him Alfie. Do you really think the royals will listen to our podcast? Someday? What's his name? Alfie. <laughs> Is that what you think Alfie's going to talk? Yeah. Talk like? All right, guys, just one of the geezers, you know? My mate George, he's over in Eton. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then Harry will come along and go, Alfie, what are you doing? <laughs> That's a really bad posh accent. I wonder what it, what, it, what it... No, it'll grow up with a posh accent. Like, hello, my name is Alfie. It's short for Alfred. It's not really, though. Like my great, great, great grandfather... That was Albert, was it not? <laughs> yeah, no, there's no, there's, there's no King Alfie. <laughs> Alfred does sound like a posh name, though. Yeah. Alfred, Alfie. Yeah, so it's not really short, is it? Yeah. But then people call me Judy for short, and it's just, it's not short. It's, I mean, I suppose if you're writing it, it's yeah. shorter. But if you're speaking it, like, why not just call me my full name? Let's be real. I mean, Alfred, you're missing out, what, one letter? Spelling it Alfie. Judy, you're missing two. Unless you spell like my Twitter handle, in which case it makes no difference. Oh, I know it makes one letter of difference. No, it doesn't because you have we in front of it, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, okay. I have speeding buses as my next topic. Yes, I had that on mine too, so you have to explain this story. Okay, I'm so I'm currently on an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my hashtag? I'm using it's hashtag Chloe investigates. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna retweet your tweet on Skit Twins. Okay, so basically, yesterday I was thinking about it. We were, I was on the bus home from Belfast with my mummy, and because um, I was at home waiting for you to get home. back, and uh, the bus was the bus driver. He wasn't speeding, but he was well fond of his horn, and like I've never really had a bus driver that's that fond of the horn, um, like. Yeah, anyway, right. And then it just sort of struck me, like, struck me. Oh, <laughs> I rolled my R there. Um, that's a really culty thing to do, by the way, just to roll your R. Not massively, just, like, struck. Or, like, truck. 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 I'm getting distracted here, right. So, we were on the bus, and I was like, well, what would happen if a bus, like, speeded and got caught in a speed trap or whatever? Speeded. Sped, I think. Sped, whatever. Speeded. Um, and then it just... 
I was one of those things and it just started annoying me. And I asked my mummy and my mummy didn't know and I'm calling her mummy. <laughs> I mean, I don't call her ma, but I don't always call her mummy either. <laughs> um, but I asked her and she didn't know. So I took to Twitter and I tweeted Translink and... <laughs> tweeted TransLink about it though. <laughs> well, first of all, I asked the people of Twitter and the people of Twitter didn't know, so I tweeted TransLink. And they replied to me this morning and they didn't know, but they gave me their email address, so I emailed them. And I haven't heard back from them yet, so mm. yeah. You'll have, have to you... wait to the next podcast to find out. I do hope they do get back to you. Or follow the thread on Twitter, I would assume that you'll update that Yeah, when you find out. Yeah, so that's... <laughs> That's my favourite thing. I think if I have questions about companies, I'm just going to start tweeting them now <laughs> or emailing them. should tweet Cheerios and be like, hey, you should do white chocolate Cheerios. What about your vanilla flavoured cereals? Would that be a thing? Could be. I like vanilla flavoured. I suppose that would be kind of like white chocolate. White chocolate's quite vanilla. Yeah. White chocolate's not even technically chocolate anyway, so like you could just... You could just call them... I suppose white Cheerios would be a bit. Would that be racist? I think it. I think. I think it wouldn't sit nicely with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. What um, you mean, like some like extremist people would be like, "No, we gotta have black Cheerios yes. <laughs> and brown Cheerios." But then, if you think about it, though, that's what kids would call it. Kids wouldn't necessarily call it chocolate Cheerios. Be like, "No, I want the brown Cheerios." Yeah. I mean, I in fairness, white cheerios, in fairness just... talking about colour, they're not necessarily like saying. I was going to say yeah, because white and brown bread, like fifty-fifty. Yeah. <laughs> um, we just made bread racist. Um... <laughs> no, I mean it's technically meant to be white bread and wholemeal, is it not? Yeah, but it's brown. Green. It is brown though. Yeah, like, and if you're going to have white. You, may you as might well as well just call it brown rum. Do, do you want white or do you want wholemeal? Yeah. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I didn't brush my hair for three days and I just wanted to tell everybody about it. How did, how did it go? It was good. My hair was curly rather than frizzy, so I would highly recommend it to anyone who thinks they have frizzy hair um, to, to not brush it. I mean, run your fingers through it and make sure it's like sitting nice, but if... If you plait it at night time and then, or like whenever it's wet and then plait it and go to bed, then unravel it in the morning. It's it's nice, nicer than if you do brush it. So don't brush frizzy hair. Just try it out. Today's podcast is, sport- is supported by not brushing your hair. Not brushing your hair. It's okay. <laughs> Today's podcast is also sponsored by cereal. You can have it wet in milk or dry, but not with orange juice or ice cubes. To be fair, though, you can't you can't have cereal with like milk and then a bit of water. I mean, at a real push, if there's not much milk left, I would say that it's okay. I accept that that is a thing that you do, but Thanks. I am not promoting it. <laughs> our podcast cannot be sponsored by milk, milky water. Finally, our podcast today <laughs> <laughs> is sponsored by. Non-racist cereals. Non-racist cereals. <laughs> They're for you when it matters. <laughs> we stole that from uh, the Dear Hank and John podcast. Give it a listen. I just think it's a really good idea just it to is. have fake sponsors. I just, I just wanted to add that in there. We, I think I would like to start doing that just because it's a good wee recap of what we've <laughs> gone over. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Dear Hank and John's a good podcast. Highly recommend it. <gasps> can if I have you, another sponsor? You can. Our final sponsor today is Speeding Buses. Speeding Buses, who gets fined? We don't know. Speeding Buses. Hashtag Chloe investigates. <laughs> We're questioning <laughs> background music. Dong, 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 dong. Chloe investigates. I feel like we should oh, have... the Sherlock theme tune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is that even the... Th- I don't even know what it is. I was going to say that our podcast is also sponsored by Dear Hank and John, but it's not... Um, I am going to email them though and ask if they will sponsor our podcast. <laughs> hey, do you want sponsor us? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, so, do we have some gamey games? Yes, we have the Google game. Okay. I didn't know what to search today, so I just searched. Um, is Google? So, did you actually search this, or is this one of the or ones like I didn't know? Like I started typing it in. So, so you actually did this. You didn't go on like the no, Google. I didn't, I didn't go on to, like Google Feud or anything. Okay. Cool. So, is Google dot 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 alive? 
Yeah, well, that's one of them. Is is Google a human? Um, is Google working? Yeah, is Google down as number two? It actually comes up whenever you search it. If you say is Google down, is Google, and then it comes up down, and then underneath in like capital letters, no. <laughs> Just yelling at you. No, we're not. Is Google accurate? Oh, is Google no. sponsored? No, no. Is Google fake? No. Is Google the biggest search engine in the world? No, although it did give me a whole pile of facts. It's like, facts about Google! And it was like, I just asked, is Google? Is Google... <laughs> One would be like, I'd say like a newspaper headline for like the Times or something. Is Google coming to an end? Oh well, yeah, that's one of them. Is Google closing down? So you've got two more. Is Google English? No. Is Google stupid? No. Is Google boring? Well, that stupid is like close. Is Google biased? No. Is Google bored? Tired? No. Um, you're pulling a face with me. And now you're counting on your fingers. <laughs> I'm trying to give you a hint. I know, I know, I'm trying to work out the hint, but I'm trying. Okay, to I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try and, I'll, I'll do, um, charades. Right, so. Okay, right. Are you gonna do, are you gonna do the audio this description? Is, yeah, this is like a newspaper headline, okay. So, okay. is Google, um, I'm rolling my hands in like a circle, um, I'm hammering, I'm pointing at me. Is Google working for me? Is Google, um, is Hammer Google me. building? Making, making, making yes. me stupid. Yeah, so is Google making us stupid was the top answer. I mean, that, uh, that's, I mean, people are Googling things instead of doing the research. Yeah. Like you and your buses. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. I spent like <laughs> half an hour searching various things last night to find out who gets like fined for like buses speeding, but generally bus companies do not reveal that information. So I'm hoping TransLink are different. Um, is Google making us lazy? Is that one? No, because it's just the making us stupid. I think I think Google is making us more lazy than stupid because instead of doing like homeworks and stuff, I think kids are trying just to Google, Google things. Yeah. Um, is that it? Or is no, there... there's one more. So right. is Google counting? No. Oh, is Google is how much is Google worth? Is Google no. rich? No. Is Google a birthday? No. Okay, right. Is, is, is Google a uh, is is Google a hundred year old? No. Is Google a num a number? Yeah. Is Google a number? What? <laughs> He's searching that. I don't know. I suppose maybe it's sort of like it's Google's that famous now that maybe they've named a num like a number above a trillion after them or like a billion or whatever. Interesting. My jeans have rips in them, and I think I just made a rip really big because I just stuck my finger in it. I do that all the time. That's why I don't know. That's why I'm not allowed ripped jeans. I don't understand them. I like these have like little tiny, tiny rips. They're not like big, massive scores right across the leg. I was I gonna don't... say they are scores because some of them aren't right the way through the fabric. Yeah, this one is. Well, it is now. <laughs> it used to be, but it is now. But I don't get the ones that are like right across your leg and like pure. Right across the knee is annoying. I don't yeah. like that. Like, how do you put that on? Like, I would just have the knee ripped completely yeah. through it. Because I just put my I just put my feet through the hole in the knee. My fear with them would be that my toenail would catch in them as uh, I'm putting them on nope. and bend the toenail back or rip it off completely. Um, you know what you shouldn't I Google, guys? Oh. <laughs> And please don't Google it. Like, actually don't. Because you can hear Judith right now in the background. She's oh. thinking about it. It's not like it makes me want to puke. It just makes my knees go weak and I don't like it. Degloved fingers. Oh, my nose is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> she has a tissue. Um, yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, talking about a degloved hand made my nose bleed. So that's fun. Thank There's you. There's a wee roll of tissue. Thanks. I hope you didn't bleed over You're the carpet. Have to <laughs> you should have rolled it out for me. I'm sorry. Okay, so um, I mean, it's not it's not overly bad, is it? Yeah, it's just drippy drip. It's just dripping. So, Can um... you still hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll just stick a bit up my nose. Um, so is that all the topics? Will we go on to questions? Uh, yep. Uh, do you have some questions there? And you could start. 
Yep. I'm going to try and do this real quick. I so do that. indeed. Um, so one of the first ones, how to put on shoes. It's not necessarily a question from the listeners. It's a question I asked a podcaster um, called, called Dave Elliott a while ago. And um, did he answer it? He did, yeah. Um, he goes socks you, socks you. Oh, right. Okay. I thought this was generally just, um, you know, a tutorial on how to put on your shoes. <laughs> But yeah, how, how do you put on shoes? Um, usually sock, sock, shoe, shoe. But if I'm in the gym and stuff, so, yeah, it's sock, sock shoe, shoe, sock, shoe. Because I don't like my socks touching the floor. Because, yeah. I mean, you don't know who's been standing there or what's been there. So. Yeah. What about you? Are you the same? Tweet us right now, get underscore twins, if you can tell if Judith's got <laughs> tissue up her nose. And just one guess. nostril. I was going to say... Guess if it's up one nostril, two nostrils. But well, which, which nostril, nostril? Left or right? And I just tweet us now and I'll tell you, tell you the answer at the end. Yeah. Yeah. But tweet now. Um, also tweet sock, sock, shoe, shoe or sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Yeah, let us um, know. I want to know. There has to be a consensus here. Um, I'll do a poll maybe. Yeah. Later. Uh, we'll do some listeners' questions. We already had one from Susan. Um, we have one from Alan. We have quite a lot from Alan, actually. Um, favourite household noise? Oh, is this one that you have? No, I tweeted Skip. Oh, do so you have a favourite household sound? Um, is this toilets flushing? I mean, that's a fairly that satisfying nice sound. sound. I like the sound of the heater, which is outside my window. The, the what's it called? Boiler? Slack burner. Slack burner. Uh, outside my window. Uh, it's quite a comforting noise. It's almost like an airplane noise, I find. Yeah. Like, it's just one of those, like, white noises almost. Yeah, and it's just it's just constant. Yeah. It doesn't vary in any way, and it's just... I, I quite like it. I quite like the sound of the back door closing. Which one? The one under the kitchen. Oh, yeah. It's just, like, a satisfying noise whenever you hear it click. I like the sound of the aga door opening, too. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Just the wee... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favourite number? 13, just because I feel that it gets neglected, but everybody's favourite number is 13, so I'm going to say 1982. That's a really nice number. I like numbers that are either... It's actually 1982 whenever I say it properly. What happened in 1982, I wonder? Why is that number stuck in my head? I don't know. Oh well. Uh, I like That's my favourite number now. <laughs> I like numbers that are like multiples of things. Yeah, I like I think two, four, 30. Six, and stuff. I like 30 because it's a multiple of 2, 3 and 5 and 6. Yeah. I don't know. I like I like even numbers more than odd numbers, I think, apart from the number 7 and 13. And 11. It's quite nice too. Yeah. Um, 21 is not bad. The sound of people putting lids back on pots, yes, I agree. That is that is a nice sound. Um, we have like an old roasting pot um, and it's like ceramic. Yeah. And it makes a really nice noise. No, those like lock and seal boxes. <gasps> yeah, the clips. Yeah. The clicky things. The things yeah. and they clip down around the side to make sure it's like airtight. That's satisfying. Uh, if you were to be a group of islands, which would you be? And what if we had to narrow it down, would you choose... Between being... Oh, I, I cropped out the rest of that answer, but... um, I would be the Galapagos Islands or the Maldives. But you would be dying. Slowly drowning. YOLO. I would live every day like it's my last. <laughs> I mean, we're all dying, really. <laughs> um, Fair enough. I think being, like... I suppose it's not really a... No, I thought I could see the blood seeping through the uh, tissue. Um, I... I don't know about a group of islands... The Canary Islands are nice. Yeah, the Balearic Islands are nice too. What's the difference? The Canary Islands like Grand Canary and stuff, and the Balearic Islands are like Majorca. Ah, uh, those ones. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. And see, will I go for one? Yeah. Um. Can you get cornered in a round room? Yeah. If that's there's okay. more than one person. That's okay. That's what I thought too. Because like, a round room, it's not as if it's like a flat wall and like people can and surround you. And being cornered you. doesn't literally mean... You can be cornered against a flat wall. Yeah. It just means like you've got no way out. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have an email of questions as well. Ooh. From an anonymous person. Uh, I don't actually know the name. gives nothing away either. But... um. 
Yeah, what do the questions go? I thought that was mum coming to the door. Uh, what movie would be greatly improved if it was made into a musical? Oh, I don't know. Um, I think Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story. Well, Toy no, Story, Toy is, Story kind is good. Of a, it's kind of a musical already, though. True. I'm going to say, like, Scream, like a horror film of <laughs> some <laughs> sort. Um, Cars. Cars was a really rubbish film. Yeah. Unpopular opinion, but... I think maybe it could Yeah, Cars be, didn't really have any music to it, did it? Yeah, it could be improved if it was put into made into a musical. Um what is something that's really popular now but in five years everyone will look back on it and be embarrassed about it? Twerking, Fortnite, flossing. <laughs> I think ripped jeans. Yeah. Um, because they used to be cool and then they went out of fashion and then now they're back, so Double denim. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong grey, with it. Grey hair. Grey, like, grey hair dye. Like silvery. Grey, yeah. yeah. Pastel coloured hair. Yeah. Yeah. I think. And like, all the hipster stuff, like avocado everything. I think this is my favourite. <laughs> what would be the hat to end all hats? <laughs> what What could you wear in your head that would make people stop what they're doing and stare in awe and amazement? A pancake with a burger on top. On top of that, an Oreo. And on top of that, like, you know the McDonald's ice cream cones? It's like a flat flat at the bottom, yeah. flat base. And one of those on top with a flake. Like an actual, like, actual foods or, like, is this I mean, it could be actual like foods, that. but it could be a hat style like that. You just don't know. Okay. Because no touching. Can't that touch is true. You can't, you can't touch the hat. But then there would be flies and stuff swarming around it, though, if it was real food. That would add to the effect. If it was a fair cat, you'd get flies would, and like fibre optic things. I would hate that <laughs> with so much passion that it makes my nose bleed. It would make you turn around and look though. It would. I have to admit it would. Yeah. Um I think the hat to end all hats is already it is already a thing. What? Top hat? True, because you don't really see top hats anymore, so whenever you do see a top hat it does make you turn around and sort of yeah. go, Oh, top hat. Like a nice shiny not shiny, but like Decent to talk about. Yeah. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Cat. Yeah. I think definitely cats would be the rudest. Um, cat or some birds. Because there's some birds outside my window and they don't care about what time it is. They're going to tweet away. Maybe they're they're going to come being... over to my window and tell me about maybe, their day. Maybe they're just being rude because the cats are being rude to them. Maybe. Uh, what would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? A dog. Imagine a horse-sized dog. Oh, I mean, St. Bernard's and stuff are pretty big, like. Yeah. Be like Clifford. <gasps> yeah. Clifford the big oh. red dog. Or else, like, I don't know. A ferret. Imagine a horse I think I just ferret. dripped blood on your, uh... Thing? Carpet? No, your... I heard it t tinkle. Yes, you have indeed. <laughs> I dripped blood on Chloe's money box, which was below me. Uh, apologies for that, Chloe. I pulled out my little stopper. <laughs> cool. right. um, in one word, describe the internet. Chaotic. I would say, wow. Because <laughs> you can just, that can just work for anything. Because the internet can be, wow, or wow, or Whoa. Or, wow. What's or, the most embarrassing thing you've ever worn? Me, baby born purple <laughs> body warmer. <laughs> That's in like a very early podcast, that story. We're going to, we'll bring that back. <laughs> bring that story back. Um, I don't know. What's the most embarrassing thing I've worn? Like looking back at old baby pictures and stuff, even. Um, I can't believe I made my nose bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how like it just started but I, mean, I must maybe, have done something maybe you didn't make it bleed maybe it's just like the weather pressure <laughs> what's the weather gonna be like well my nose started bleeding it's gonna so be sunny and warm this week we gonna have hot pressure that actually does happen whenever it's sunny and warm my nose does bleed like yeah. it's more likely to bleed is it not like whenever it's low pressure you fart more <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing but no cause like everything wants to go from high to low pressure so should Could it have be. been high pressure you'd fart more now no cause you're body thing would be higher than outside oh pressure inside i think anyway i don't know but i need to google again that. uh 
skit underscore twins or skit.twins at gmail.com or skit under slash twins um let's see if there's one if, more if you could start a cult what kind of cult would you start one where people are just nice to each other all the time i think that's just called being a human being a decent human. Well then, I want to start that cult. What part of a kid's movie completely scar- scarred you? Scared you? Scarred you. Scarred you. Oh. Probably, oh, that bit in, I can't remember if it's Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2. And Ma- Harry is trying to like, or is it Marv? One the of them's trying to reach through his it. foot, no. No, well that one, yeah. And then also whenever he's trying to like reach out to grab Kevin, you see all the blisters on his hand. Oh yeah, that's Marv. Yeah, that's that's. Oh, I know. It's Harry, and then Marv gets a nail through his. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that bit's not nice. And then I can't think of any other really. The Teletubbies, but that wasn't. Coraline. A movie. Coraline's kind of creepy. That is a scary movie. Um, I this imagine. one I actually know the answer to, but I put it down anyway. But why do they put holes in crackers? In crackers. Yeah. So that they rise flat instead of going all domey. Yeah. That's okay, you know the answer too. I think that was in a podcast that we listened to. I think to. it was too. What's another word for thesaurus? Book of words. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I have written down. <laughs> <laughs> another word for thesaurus. Book of words. Book of words for other words. Words for other words, I like that. Um, my final question here is, how important do you have to be to be assassinated rather than murdered? Bit dark, but... Right you know. enough, when does it change from murder to assassination? I suppose if um I think it's maybe like if political. People, if people can get something from your death, I think then that's assassination. Like if if people stand to gain something from you dying, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like if you were killed for. I was gonna say if you're a public figure. I suppose maybe, but I think although, if, I, although to be fair, like YouTubers can still themselves public figures, and I don't think if like a YouTuber, I was gonna name a YouTuber, but that, that's mean. Um, I think if like a YouTuber, I don't think they call it assassination. I think they just say killed. Yeah. Or murdered. I think I think it could be to do with if someone can gain something from you dying. I think that should be considered assassination. But then like I could gain everything from your bedroom. Okay, if more than if a group of people could get cuz I mean if they can kneel it down to you killing me then it wouldn't really be you assassinating me would it? I don't know. Uh, it would be. I don't know. I think if a, if a group of people can gain from a person's death, but different things. I was gonna, I'm going to say, if you have the power to make big decisions or to influence people in a major way outside of the internet, <laughs> then it would count as assassination. Or like, mainly political figures, I think. What do you guys think? Skit under slash twins on Twitter and Instagram and skit.twins at gmail.com We sound like really crap YouTubers. We do. Subscribe! Hit that subscribe button! Smash that like button! <laughs> In fairness though, um, we have like 98 followers on Twitter so if we could get to 100 that'd be great. Um, we could also get to 100 subscribers on YouTube that'd be great too because we have like 94. Yeah, that would be fabulous. So uh, steal your friend's phone and follow and subscribe on your friend's phone. Subscribe to the podcast too because then you'll not have to check every week to see if we actually remember to do a yeah, podcast or just, had time to just be just, just be there yeah um so yeah and like and share and leave a rating and review and Jareth, would you like to give them um a useless motivational quote um when your nose starts bleeding just power three <laughs> My motivational quote is close your curtains at night time. <laughs> I go. mean, that's a good life quote too. I mean, it's motivation for life. Stops people peering in. Stop. That's really solid advice. I don't think mine is solid advice. If your nose starts bleeding really badly, you probably should just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it starts re- run- bleeding halfway through like a marathon or something, like, you know. Guys, get- just sit down. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> I mean, like, don't literally just sit down, but I mean, get help. <laughs> <laughs> you can't I mean, run a marathon with blood running out your nose. Like, I mean, it'll be number really... one, it's like dangerous to have blood running out your nose. Number two, imagine the photos. Like, I was gonna say, imagine the blood stains. You're never gonna get that. That like, your number for one thing that every that you have to save and stick on the wall to prove that you ran a marathon. You have to keep that, and you're not gonna get blood stains out of it. 
And trainers are expensive, and if you're running, it's gonna land on your trainer. The blood is gonna land on your trainers. And well, I suppose it's like um Hansel and Gretel, Gretel on the breadcrumb breadcrumbs. You just if you, get lost, if you get you get lost from the start line. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, but yeah, just think of the photos too. Like no one wants a bloody faced runner. I mean, you could make up a story and pretend that you got in a fight. True. With a crocodile. <laughs> got in a fight with some guy dressed up as Big Ben. <laughs> Oh, you're right enough. You could make up a really random story. That would be devastating. I ran into Big Ben. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you very much for listening. Do give us a rating and stuff. and Let like us know your some... favourite thing and um, tell us how you put on your socks and shoes. Send us questions too. Like I know we put out tweets for questions, but just randomly send us questions and we'll write them down and answer them. That was a car. I thought it was a big B. <laughs> But yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for have a good taking part. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good lifetime. Have a good bye. Have a good bye. Have a good bye. Here's a good bye. 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 Is there anything else we want to say? Because it, it won't stop. So we're just going to have to. Because you're. <laughs>